until you have had the taste of finishing, you will not respect yourself. Until you follow through, until something is done, tears and struggles and pain and you go through it anyway and you show up and you continue to fight on no matter the circumstances after a while something begins to wither inside of you every champion has felt it every president has felt it every king has felt it every lion has felt it every winner has felt it every soldier has felt it every victorious person has felt it the urge to quit don't you give up on your dream i don't care if you don't have the money and you don't have the help and you don't have the family for it and you don't have the background for it and you don't have the friends for it don't you give up on your dream don't you do it don't you do it don't you do it it may take you twice as long you may have to take courses and classes you might not read as fast you might not move as quick you might not have as much but don't you quit don't you quit don't you quit you do make a difference you do make a difference you do make a difference as weak as you are as tired as you are as many mistakes as you made you do make a difference there is something they would lose if you were not there there was something that they would miss if you were not there you do make a difference you do make a difference I would rather aim for the stars and not hit them than to not aim at all I would rather go after it and not get it than not go after it at all. I'd rather try and fail than not try at all. I don't want to live with the idea, wonder what would have happened had I done more with my life. I'm going to go for it. Come hell or high water, I'm going after my destiny. I lost a lot of stuff. I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of strength. I lost a lot of courage. I lost a lot of time. I lost a lot of money. But I was still believing. Broke, I was believing. Lonely, I was believing. Betrayed, I was believing. You gotta go down swinging and, and I'll tell you this if you if you fight with all you've got more often than not you won't go down at all you win but you got to make that attitude part of your everyday life the extra rep the extra mile the extra round the right choices to make yourself stronger mentally and physically stand and fight fight against weakness and against fear and fight against time and decay fight back go down swinging and give every day everything you've got and when, and when you face a challenge even something where you don't believe you can win Maybe it's a situation where you cannot win. But if you can't win, remember this. You have nothing to lose. So stand up and go forward and go out in a blaze of glory. Fighting with everything you've got, every ounce of energy, every bead of sweat. There's a voice in you that has said, I can do this. I know others have failed. I can do this. I, I know others have, have said that, that I can't do it. I've had setbacks in life. 
If you want to make it in life, you got to make no your vitamin. You've got to know every no brings you a step closer to a yes. Anybody can stop because someone said no. But there's something in you, in your heart of hearts, is saying, oh, I'm not a quitter. There's something in you that says, I've got the will to do it. There's something in you that says, I'm going to find a way. People that are hungry are willing to do the things today others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. People that are hungry do what they know, not what they feel. See, I didn't do this for years because I knew it would be hard. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. I'm telling you right now, if you are going to birth your dream, your calling, your passion, and the second half of your life, you can't draw back when life gets tough. You've got to stand up to it and push. Do you have the courage to act outwardly on what you see inwardly? Or will you die a dreamer? Will you die on the verge and on the edge and in the land of coulda, woulda, and shoulda? It takes courage to be successful. It is far easier not to be successful. Misery will always have company. Success breeds contempt. If you don't want to make waves, be mediocre. Be normal and fit in. And if you're more concerned about people than you are God, then neutralize everything he put in you. Just fit in with everybody else. Dress like them, walk like them, act like them, eat like them, go where they go, think like they think, do what they do. And once you've neutralized your uniqueness, you don't need courage. It takes courage to be different. It takes courage to go where you've never gone before. For some of you, it took courage to come to this conference. It takes courage to get you outside of the ball. It takes courage to be successful. It takes courage to win. People don't talk about people that don't win. If you win, they're gonna talk about you. Do you have the courage to stand there though the storms keep raging and the people get to talking and you stand there and say, I've come too far to turn around? Do you have the courage? There's no losing, there's no failure, and there's no problems, only solutions. So to me what failure is, failure is the mother of all success. If it wasn't for Michael Jordan getting cut from his ninth grade basketball team, he wouldn't have became Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. See, if you're always winning, then you don't really understand what it is to win. You, you gotta take those losses, you gotta take those hits. There's gotta be the valleys, the peaks, the ups, the downs. It's never about making it, guys. It's always about maintaining it. Be excited about your destiny so that you can endure the process that brings you into promise. Because there is a process before promise. And if you don't have at least a vision of the promise, the process will discourage you. It takes courage to be exceptional. It takes courage to be wise. It takes courage to be rich. It takes courage to be educated. It takes courage to be knowledgeable. It takes courage. And I'm just wondering, in this weak, watered-down, mediocre society that we live in today, in this reality TV world we live in today, I'm wondering if there's anybody left that's got the courage to say, after all I've been through, and all my ancestors have been through, and all my parents have been through, I didn't come through all of that 
just to fit in with normalcy. I have the courage to go after my dream. Do you have the courage? Well, now that we can see how short life really can be, what are you going to do with the rest of your life? That's the biggest trigger that I have ever experienced. What are you going to do the rest of your life? If you're doing something that you're not totally passionate about, you're compromising yourself every day. You spend so much time on your knees, your knees are bleed. Get up off your knees and do the work. Ain't nobody gonna get in shape until you go to the gym and do the work. Everybody want money, but you ain't doing to go get it. Everybody want a better life for their career and their family, but you ain't doing nothing to go go get it. I'ma go get it. What you gotta do to get the life that God wants you to have, you gotta put more air in your bubble. You got to blow your bubble up. Expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. The first rule of success is to have a vision. You see, if you don't have a vision of where you go, and if you don't have a goal where you go, you drift around and you never end up anywhere. It's like you can have the best ship in the world, you can have the best airplane in the world. If the pilot or the captain doesn't know where to go, it will just drift around. It will not end up anywhere or most likely in the wrong place. Don't get caught up in the clubs, drinking, smoking, because guess what? God has a plan over your life way bigger and better and more significant than all your homeboys could ever understand. You are not regular. Some of y'all be f***ed up because y'all think y'all regular. You are not regular. You are a talented athlete. So stay your ass in the gym, stay focused on them books, stay in your college dorms. You got the rest of your life to chase chicks and get, get money, man. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. Quit running away from the gift. Your gift will make room for you. Stop trying to be something you ain't gifted at. I'm telling y'all, go get it. If you got a problem with your life and your career, stop complaining about it. Change your approach to everything you're doing, man. Change your surroundings, it's gonna change your life. This thing, you're doing it for yourself. You're not doing it for anybody else. Yes, your family supports you. Yes, your friends support you, but you're doing it for yourself at the end of the day. And you're the only one who's going out there on the track. So you gotta motivate yourself and you gotta want it as much as everybody else on the track. Don't be afraid to fail. Uh, because if you're afraid to fail, then you're always holding yourself back because you're afraid that if you go all out, you may fail. Well, in weightlifting, we learned that very quickly. The only way you could break a record is if you're willing to fail. That's when you put on more weight, you try it, sometimes you maybe don't, you will not be able to lift it, but eventually, when you train hard enough, you will lift it. I'm telling y'all, man. There's another level to this thing, and I'm not afraid to go get it. I am so obedient. I don't care how much money I have in my pocket. There is more to do. I want to introduce y'all to this very simple concept. If you want it, you got to go get it. When it feels scary to jump, that is exactly when you jump. Otherwise, you end up staying in the same place your whole life. And that I can't do. Fear is not real. The only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination, causing us to fear things that do not at present and may not ever exist. Easy choices, hard life. Hard choices, easy life. The hard choices, what we most fear doing, asking, saying, 
These are very often exactly what we most need to do. Don't be afraid to reinvent yourself and don't be afraid to be different, man. You ain't got to fit in the crowd. I tell my sons all the time, why are you following everybody when you were clearly meant to leave? It's always better to just do your thing. And I don't care what situation you done got your life in, you can turn your life around because it ain't ever too late. See, the key is you can't ever give up. Those times when you get up early and you work hard, those times when you stay up late and you work hard, those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. That is actually the dream. That's the dream. It's not the destination, it's the journey. It's very important that you engage in an ongoing process to develop you. Spend more time on yourself than what you've been spending. Working on yourself, talking to yourself, overcoming the negative conversation, that inner dialogue is going on all the time, all the time. Even when you don't want it to be there. You can't stop yourself right now from thinking. You can't do it. Dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. So have dreams, but have goals, life goals, yearly goals, monthly goals, daily goals. In order to achieve your goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You have to work at it every day. You have to plan every day. Hard work works. I don't care where you come from. I don't care where you were raised. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what gender you are. I don't care about any of that sh if you do the work consistently, if you invest in yourself consistently, one plus one is always going to equal two. Ten years of motherfucking work when everybody else is partying, making excuses, doing the cool thing on the weekend is going to pay off. You can do this. A lot of folk won't let you forget what you used to do or what you have done, what mistakes you've made. All of us have made some mistakes in life. All of us have done some things that if we had them to do over again, we wouldn't do it again. A lot of things that if I had it to do over again, if I knew then what I know now, I would have done it differently. Well, it didn't happen that way. See, life is not just that simple. It's not that cut and dry. And that's why most people never realize their personal greatness because they're casual about life. And when you are casual about life, you will end up a casualty. What I need you to do is I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know you're strong enough to do it because you're human. And every human has what it takes to get past whatever they're going through. If they decide to, push through it. Push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. Practice and practice and practice. Practice makes improvement. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. You never hit a state of perfection. You're always bigger than what you do. Don't go around telling people your, what your story is. Everybody has a story. 80% don't care and 20% glad it's you. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is what are you going to do about it? A lot of people want to be successful, but they want to go to the club on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday, and then on Monday, they're getting outperformed by everybody in the fucking office and they're wondering, why don't I get the raise in the promotion? Shut your fucking ass up. That's why, man. Get to work. You can either live your dreams or live your fears. And I think the majority of people actually are not living their dreams, but are living their fears. So I want to ask you a question. What are you afraid of? What are you scared of? Step into the unknown. That moment filled with fear and horror. And that fear is what causes hesitation. And hesitation causes defeat. Hesitation turns into cowardice. It stops us from moving forward, from executing what we know we must. Hesitation defeats us. To win, all you have to do is overcome that moment. The waiting. The hesitation. And to do that, all you have to do is go. Move. Take the action.
get out of bed, get your feet on the ground, step forward. Do not hesitate, do not wait. Go forward. Keep going, like keep going, don't quit. You're already in pain, you're already struggling. Like get something for your pain. It doesn't make sense to go through pain and then not get nothing on the other side of it. It takes courage to be successful. It is far easier not to be successful. If you don't want to make waves, be mediocre. Be normal and fit in. And if you're more concerned about people than you are God, then neutralize everything he put in you. Just fit in with everybody else. Dress like them, walk like them, act like them, eat like them, go where they go, do what they do. And once you neutralize your uniqueness, you don't need courage. It takes courage to be different. Start small. Start with changing tomorrow morning, just tomorrow morning, and then move on to the next day and the next and move your life to a better place. One little step, one little victory at a time. Changing is not easy, but changing your life, changing habits, picking yourself up after life has knocked you flat on your back. Once you find out you want, regardless of what it is, and you combine the mind and the body together, that's when life gets exciting, guys. And it's not the potential, or it's not the genetics, it's the perseverance. If you constantly keep throwing shit against the wall, eventually something will stick, guys. Never give in to what you want. Most people fail in life because they aim too low and hit. They didn't believe in themselves. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be peaceful. Listen to me, once you realize who you are, you stop operating in desperation. I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. My son's counting on me. I don't have days to wait. So stop wasting time. Stop listening to me right now. Stop. And go out and do the work to bring that vision to life. Whatever you want to do, believe it, believe it, believe it, even if you don't believe. Play the game of belief. Act as if you believe. That is power. That is sheer power, and it will happen, believe you me. Your brain is the most powerful weapon in the world. If you can't control your own brain, and your brain controls you, you're f You gotta tell your brain where you wanna go, and how you wanna go, and how you wanna get there. You gotta control it. If not, it's over. Your mind has to be stronger than your feelings. Think about every poor decision you've made in your life. There was more emotion that was involved in it than there was mind. Every single one of them. Think about it. Really Your feelings keep you in bed. Your mind tells you, get up. When I wake up in the morning, I don't think, am I motivated to go do what I'm supposed to do? No. When the alarm clock goes off, I have no thought about whether this is easy, whether this is hard, whether I want to do it, whether I don't want to do it. None of that matters. It's an emotionless, thoughtless discipline when the alarm clock goes off, you get up, you get out of bed, and you go do what you're supposed to do. I don't care how it feels. I don't care if it's easy or hard. I don't know what your future is, but if you're willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. The more people believe in you or like you or help you or support you, the more people hate you because it creates an opportunity for envy. The only way to avoid it is to stay down. If you lay dead, even the animals won't bite you. The risk of being bitten is the cost of getting up.
And you have to decide, are you so concerned about being bitten that you're willing to spend the rest of your life laying dead? Or is there something pumping down inside of you that says, bite me or not, I'm getting up. I'm going to be the best me. I'm going to do all I can do, even if it risks you hating me. I'm going for it. Listen to me, man. You have a great life in front of you, but your great life is in front of you. It's not behind you. What you did back there was learn the lessons to get you to where you are at this particular moment right here. But quit tripping during the process. Pull yourself together and quit tripping because you in the process. God is processing you. He ain't through with you. If he was through with you, you would not wake up in the morning. Do it broke, do it scared, do it nervous, do it trembling, do it on your knees, do it with help, do it on crutches, do it in a wheelchair because you don't want to end up in a nursing home sitting on a bedpan wondering what would have happened if you'd only had more courage. You don't want to end up in an old folks home and your dying thought is I wish I had a because the one thing that you will never get is more time. So you don't have time to allow your fear to incarcerate you when you have the key. Reach around there, unlock the door, and step into your destiny. This is why I try to tell you, anything and everything can be done if you can visualize it and if you believe in yourself. I'm addicted to one more. And so I want your mantra going forward to be one more. I want to win. I want to be somebody. I want to separate. Spend your whole life imagining ghosts, worrying about the pathway to the future. But all there will ever be is what's happening here and the decisions we make in this moment, which are based in either love or fear. until you have had the taste of finishing you will not respect yourself until you follow through until something is done tears and struggles and pain and you go through it anyway and you show up and you continue to fight on no matter the circumstances after a while, something begins to wither inside of you. Every champion has felt it. Every president has felt it. Every king has felt it. Every lion has felt it. Every winner has felt it. Every soldier has felt it. Every victorious person has felt it. The urge. you give up on your dream. I don't care if you don't have the money, and you don't have the help, and you don't have the family for it, and you don't have the background for it, and you don't have the friends for it, don't you give up on your dream. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. It may take you twice as long. You may have to take courses and classes. You might not read as fast. You might not move as quick. You might not have as much. But don't you quit. It's your turn. There's nothing wrong. You don't owe nobody nothing. It's, it's your turn. You shouldn't feel guilty. It's your turn. It's your time. You've blessed everybody else. You've set everybody else for success. You've compromised you for them. And look where you are. I've spoken to many people. And many people want miracles. But what I tell people is when you don't get a miracle, you can be one. You are here because it's in you. It's in your heart. I want to ask you, what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe in yourself? Are you going to believe everybody else's judgment on you? Are you going to believe people when they say that you're a failure? If you didn't go what you've gone through, you wouldn't be who you are today. As weak as you are, as tired as you are, as many mistakes as you made, you do make a difference. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make 
a difference. You do make a difference. There's nothing wrong with the opportunity. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. You're giving 50. And you won't with these people who've given sweat, who's given blood, who's given tears. You want what they pay for, and it ain't free. You gotta speak to yourself. You gotta tell yourself. You gotta stand up or life will tear you down. I would rather aim for the stars and not hit them than to not aim at all. I would rather go after it and not get it than not go after it at all. I'd rather try and fail than not try at all. I don't want to live with the idea, wonder what would have happened had I done more with my life.